time right now is 8.43. In today's local love, we are heading to the movies. Harkins Theaters has been a staple here in the Valley since 1933. And Jamie is at one of the great movie theaters this morning because it really is still a family business. Good morning. And good morning today. We are wrapping up our month of Jamie's Local Legacies and I could not think of a better place than the Harkins Movie Theaters. You know, as a Phoenician growing up here, I thought this was a huge national company. I had no idea that back in 1933, 85 years ago, it started with one little theater in Tempe. And look how we have grown here today. This is the Camel View Theater here at Scottsdale Fashion Square. If you have not been, my friends, the theater experience has changed. It is fancy, it is classy, and it is gorgeous. And here with me today, I have Mr. Dan Harkins. He, of course, is the son of Red Harkins, the guy who actually started Harkins yeah, Theater right. so long ago. So great to see you. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Jamie. Shall we have a seat in the bar? Yeah, in the bar, let's, let's go. Let's have a seat in the bar because they have that now. We're fancy. Yeah. So tell me a little bit. 1933, that's when your dad started this theater uh, in Tempe. Why yeah. did he love the movies? Um, I, he grew up, my dad was an amazing man, a boy genius. He skipped three grades at age 16. Um, he ran away from home on a Harley Davidson, came out to, on his way to Hollywood to find his fame and fortune. He ran out of gas in, in Flagstaff and decided to stay there and went to two semesters, came down here and started Harkins Theaters basically right after he realized he couldn't, he didn't like college. He was only 18 years old. When he started and, that first movie theater in Tempe. Right, the state theater. He, he reopened a theater that had closed mm -hmm. and, um, and got some other fellow college students, and um, and they all were probably averaging about 18, 19 years old, and they reopened the State Theater in 1933, and that was the birth of Harkins Theaters. And we're showing some pictures right now, one of which you see a gentleman standing in front of. That's my dad, Marquee. yeah, that's my dad. And, and that's Pops. And note how skinny he was, because this is the Depression. He told me stories about, you know, getting hot water and putting ketchup and making his own soup and barely getting by. I'm sure he lived, lived on popcorn. And this was entertainment, so this yeah. was uh, an extra for a lot of people, but oh, God, so he yes. made it done. Well, back then in Tempe, there was no television. Television. Yeah. Oh, sorry, folks, no TV back oh, wow. then. And um, he um, was the news source, so they had newsreels. So everything, everybody learned visually about World War II, the Depression, whatever, was on his big screen. And then he started it in college. Then in college, you were over at ASU when it kind of became yours. Tell me about yeah, this. Yeah, um, oh God, it was sort of both sad and amazing. Um, I grew up in the business ever since I was a little baby. Mm -hmm. I always went to the theater. You can see me sitting in the front row watching a Walt Disney movie with a bag of popcorn yeah. bigger than me, and I just loved it. I mean, I just did everything with my dad. When I got off on school breaks, um, Christmas or summer, I went to work with my dad. I just loved it. When it the smell of popcorn to me is yeah. like perfume. It's yeah. aroma. <laughs> That's you know? the aroma. Yeah. Well, we're going to learn more about your story and just the evolution of the movie theater experience because it must be so exciting with all the high death and just so cool. Um, the movies are quite luxurious. I like to cuddle into those big old seats and just enjoy the ride as we all do. So we're going to see uh, Mr. Harkins again in the next hour. Ah, no other place to watch a movie like at a Harkins Theater. Thank you very much, mm. Jamie.